Now for our second part with Mark Foster and Trebekah Women's Soccer. Don't like to single out players, but I am going to <laughs> with Anna Hoffman because she's a senior that yeah. has played unbelievable for you. She's gone through injuries, as you know. Yeah. Uh, but, man, she's, she's just played really well down the stretch, hasn't she? She has. Um, and, and like you say, you don't like to single out individuals. Mm -hmm. But if you were to say to me, hey, um, some mixed results at the start of the year, um, I would point to the fact that you know we lost Christina and we lost Anna at the start. Unfortunately, Christina hasn't been able to come back. But if you look at that run of form, uh, things started getting better and better when Anna Hoffman uh, got back on the field. And the fitter she got, the more confident she got. Um, you know, you could see our whole team's mentality sh shift. You know, so. Uh, yeah, it's sometimes it's okay to single out players and, and give them some recognition, and she certainly deserves it. Uh, let's talk about Cedarville in particular. It has been a battle uh, this year. I only got to see one of them, but it was 1-1 in both games. Courtney Dyer scored the first goal in yeah. each one. This is the numbers geek coming yeah. out of me. She scored the goal, first goal of each match and uh, for you, your only goal, and then they came back and got the equalizer uh, a little bit later in both ones. But just talk about that, and, and, and you talk about, what is that, 100 or 220 minutes of uh, equal play? Yeah, um, and they'll be looking at the same thing. Mm -hmm. They'll be looking at going, gosh, we're right there with Terveca, we match up well. And, and I think what's going to separate the teams tomorrow is the team that... Uh, you know, starts the game the best and, and believes and can drag that momentum the whole way through. Um, you know, we haven't been able to, we've played really well against Cedarville in two games, but tomorrow it's going to take a full 90 minute effort. Um, and, uh, but you know, like I say, John will be saying the same thing at Cedarville, he'll be looking at the stats. And um, so we're evenly matched. Um, you know, the, the team that can put the best 90 minutes together uh, will come out, and I think that's going to be us tomorrow. As Mark Foster, women's soccer coach here at Treveca, we'll have more here on TNUTrojans.com.